<laughs> All right, guys, here we are to react to the trailer for the movie Antidote. Um, All right, so who's Randy Couture? Is, MMA? Is a, yeah, fighter. Okay. Uh, so this, I, just I, based I, on the poster... I, I don't watch boxing. Yes. <laughs> J just based on the poster, which we really uh, can only judge because the two frames are very close-ups on a person's face. Mm. So uh, we have just the poster to look at, and it looks like there's like a, like a Mayan temple or something behind him in the jungle. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I know what you're thinking. Predator prequel. That would be lovely. <laughs> if only. Um, like, it looks like either vines or snakes or something. So yeah, I, I would love if this is some twist. So, like, he's out there looking for, uh, obviously, a, a, uh, an antidote or a cure or some okay. sort of medical okay. thing. But there's there's some uh, either a creature or supernatural uh, they're gonna, predator or they're something. Gonna, they're going to bulldoze the rainforest and with it the cure for something. Because you don't um, get a, a, like, you know, a, an MMA fighter with a gun on your poster. It's yes. just not going to be some action. No, and we also have Chuck, Chuck Zito in here, it says. Some of these other names might be fighter names. It's definitely action-y, definitely something, right? Let's jump into it optimistically. Oh, God. This really feels like a sci-fi <coughs> original film. It has a, uh, <coughs> like a real, real sapia tonage issue, I yeah. would call it. I would, where yes. it, it is not a... It's not like a technique or a stylized choice. It looks like it was something that they had an issue and had to solve by doing that. Neat. Because of how it's not it's not the same in every scene. It's, and it, it's a different so type of of uh, <laughs> a visual skewing. I want to call it. I have I have uh, I was going to say the same thing, but I was going to say it looks like uh, I like your angle that something was saved. I was going to say that something was like like. When uh, we've had footage, right, mm -hmm. from back in the day before, like, the high bit depth digital stuff, like, it's like, oh, we can just white balance and post. Oh, we can just fix it and post. Oh, we can just do whatever and post. But when you do that, you also fuck it and make yes. it look bad. And and it's not crushed and it's not blown out and it's not low contrast. It's some, it's just fucking it. <laughs> now, there, there's and a... a lot of the shots, they don't look real. It looks like an After Effects, like, It's like a very problem. weird tonal shift. And it, it's on the, the grayer, tanner side. And some, some even, like, super yellow. Yellow, yeah. and uh, so it's it, and it doesn't even in, in the same scenes, which I, I assume some of these are cuts into the same scene. It, it's a trailer, so it's possible it's jumping around a little bit. Yes, but they don't they don't match. No, and that's a that's an issue. If you're gonna make a weird stylistic choice, it has to be a through line, or at least be like okay, when we're in you know. Um, Wherever the jungle is, when we're in the, when we're in the jungle, it's this. When we're back in civilization, it's that to like right. like show something or convey something. But certain scenes are exposed perfectly, and you're like, okay, that's a normal shot. Then other ones, yeah. I'm like, okay, are you doing day for night here? Because it's so blue. Yeah, I but see. I don't think they are. I think that it's, again, <laughs> I think it's just okay. We uh, no, we I didn't <laughs> balance for the right light, and we had to fix this. Exactly. I feel like amateur grading slash attempts at like an attempt at day for night where like in the script they don't even mention what time of the day it is, and you're like, what are we even doing here? Like, what's yeah. the point? I can't tell. Where, like, like when is this? Where is this? Is this a flashback? I mean, most of this trailer looks like a flashback. I'm sorry. Some of um, the tone shift looks uh, like it's to match the, the CG that they did. Like, oh, the CG probably didn't line up exactly. Or they couldn't match the color of the lighting. They were like, all right, fuck it. Twist it in post, and we, and we can make it match a little bit more. Kind of like how if you shifted something to black and white, you might save it. Yes, um, yes. But they, like, we can't go black and white because where it's a like, color film. Where you, like, rough it all up to try to even yeah. it out. Or, right. Or, or like if you would do like a bad Photoshop and then shrink the image and blow it back up to hide the, uh -huh. the yeah exactly no so it looks like shit <clears throat> and I'm usually like I have a thing where if the movie just fundamentally looks like shit uh, unless it's, it's like, very hard to, to get in it's not approachable well, unless it's like really has an interesting idea or some cool angle or like it's uh -huh. a charming nice like wow I still want to see it though <clears throat> or it seems like that would like play into it somehow like oh it looks like shit yay <clears throat> this looks like it takes itself very seriously <clears throat> Randy Couture seems fine. I, I I would say that the the seriousness seems to be I, I think it's directly related to the visuals you're looking at because okay. it has a couple of lines that are spoken <laughs> oh. that that could uh, swing this into a great like oh it's a it's a fun actiony movie oh. like, like the the guys is like like are you willing to die for this girl I was gonna ask you the same question and if you had a, if you had a more prominent actor if it was filmed a little better you could have popped those scenes and yeah. cut around it and made it look like <clears> something <throat> you might have been able to sell Excuse easier me. but because they they really seem to focus on the poor uh, action areas of the movie, which mm. I'm hoping are the poor action because <laughs> if those are the good action moments in the movie, the movie is, is more doomed than yeah, I thought. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm sure um, they put the worst action movies in. But you had a couple of clips here. So this is about what is this? A minute and thirty seconds ish. Yeah, um, and I think you had like twenty seconds of of 
solid trailer you could have shown. Sure. And if you would have had a couple of different angles on the the parts that were good, you could have sold me on something. Because the in general concept hmm. of like you know, okay, it, it's zombies, but it's a virus thing, and it's a blah blah. Might be able to save it. Oh, you're related to, to like the Mayan temples, and there's the White Witch. There are elements here you could have oh, spun yeah, 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 into yeah. something that I would have been like, Big oh, you've got something there. Because I'm I'm always been a guy I like the the like you know the adventurer going into the jungle to do this that the other thing. I think that's cool. The but clash the, between like the ancient evil and the modern. Yes. Science guy with guns, mm -hmm. the micro, like the microscope, the uh, the, the M4, the weird headdress, yes. the disciples. Right, you can do something with that. I like agree. like your Alan Quartermain's the world, your Indiana Jones is yeah. like the fun, like you know, oh, it's the American in the jungle. Oh no, he's savvy yeah. and knows what he's doing. That that would be your Randy Couture character, but it doesn't seem like they really painted the light to really reflect that. They're trying to show like you know he's a badass, but he's getting older, so you might want to make him a smarter fighter than a brawler, um, uh, an experienced veteran of that. That understands tactics and says like, yeah, we, I, I was deployed here. They also had medicine men. We killed them or something. And you're like, oh my god, something. And there's, there's, there's mm. like almost an anime style that has ended up on this the white witch character where she comes <laughs> in with like it's blown out different colored backgrounds and her yeah. and weird CG for no reason. Uh, the mountain itself is, is obviously fake. That's not a real thing. Oh really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. So like, just I, the the series of things yes. here lapping up are making for a collage that I'm like, I don't really like this subject here. Yes, I'm. Uh, the I'll, elements uh, are all there, but you're, you've you've built up the, these Jenga blocks in a very exactly. precarious way, and, and I I'm, think it's gonna fall. I'm doing my best to like structure what I'm saying or something like mm -hmm. that to be like, because like some might say, hey, um, on paper everything seems fine. I would and, I would agree. Right? I, I do think yes. the elements are all there for something well, interesting. And then be critical of my inevitable strong thumbs down on this and say, hey. Hey man, you're just being biased against like, oh, you only like triple A or like pretentious. No, indie and I or don't. Whatever, right? uh, I, exactly. If anyone has watched well, no, things before, you, my my you, favorite is B movies. You, I love them. You completely don't, right? For me, like um, a combination, like um, like I have to take the on paper thing and then use the trailer to like extrapolate the rest of the film. And between uh -huh. between this weird grading, dodgy effects, and, and even just the like normal shots. Right, even if I take the lighting and and everything and I make it good, just like the way it's it's like edited and the and the camera placement and movement, I'm very much just like I feel like whoever made the movie and or the trailer just like doesn't know and like no, it feels I'm, like a 1996 to 2000s <laughs> TV movie. Yes, and I think if you maybe would have not had two uh, you know name actors in this movie, you uh, might have been able to take that budget and swing this into having maybe a better DP yeah, well, okay. and you could have had something a little bit more serviceable because well, I don't think your names what, are even getting you that I much. I was gonna say. Like, let me put it this way, like, uh, and maybe this will, like, bring it all home, right? Is you could have probably taken the same actors, the same everything, the same equipment mm -hmm. with, like, a different crew and yeah. gone through this entire process from scripting all the way through editing and come out with a much better looking, at least trailer, if not movie, right? And I would be agree, because like, wow, most of my complaints, right? I think, could have been yes. easily solved with just that weird color tinting. Yeah. Y you don't know what your balance is. Kind of thing would yeah. would, have, would have changed my my mentality a lot because yeah. it just it immediately clicks me into like okay I'm watching a shit tier movie right well and like change some of the angles change some of the placement of well, stuff. well but right? I think Do literally something. just changing okay. if the color that, balance would have been would great go, I think it would have been a fifty percent increase yes. in my yes, like yes, yes. my that, optimistic that alone would go film, a long way I, it yes. immediately tanks me and puts me into a more nitpicky mood yes and uh, so I think if you would have switched that of course the the angles the are, color, are atrocious in some no, of these like, scenes like the weird uh, color grading you know post stuff definitely it it like flips it around for me from like you know taking like a real movie and working my way down to taking like shit and working my way up right yes. so that's definitely hurting it a tremendous amount yeah but I could see like that line, like is this girl worth yeah. it? You know, like yeah. worth your life. I could ask you the same thing. I could yeah. see Arnold in like 1994 with a cigar talk, saying that line and it being of, like talk, a fucking talk, like, you know, oh yeah. Talking to Forrest Whitaker, the camera in like the right place or whatever while the shot's going on. I think, uh, the yeah. lighting proper. Yes, I know. Yeah, so exactly. you know, for for the reasons we've established, I can't give this a thumbs up because I don't. I don't want to see this. Yes. I, I I want to want to see this, but 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 I I don't. Um, <laughs> I want to want to see your movie. You know, what I mean, but like where I. I think you could have made me. a good movie with yes. this. Uh, what do you have here? You have zombies, you have the jungle, you have yeah. Aztecs, you have witches, you have fucking like zombies that might not actually be zombies, might be controlled by a witch doctor. I'm like, all those things are good. I like um, all those things. But, nope. 
And let's be clear, like, I don't care that these sets aren't real or the, or the angles are hiding the fact that you're just filming next to a tree. Like, I'm not going to be like that. None bad, of that right? really that's, bothered that's me. That's fine. That was yeah. all fine. Yeah, exactly. The actual sets were, were, were okay. I just, I, I just suspect this is like a fucking train wreck. I think a lot of things <laughs> may, have, may have been, uh, and again, I've only seen the trailer. I'm not judging the movie itself exactly. at all. But just some of the, how these action scenes played out, I think it would have really benefited them to do like a couple more takes and change some angles because yeah. they, they they don't sell and if the if the action you're showing me in your trailer doesn't sell I can't I can't think the movie's going to be better no it's just going like, to be more there of are that, certain right? things that like oh that that trailer was bad but it may ask me these questions this one I'm just like no 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 the trailer answered questions I don't need to see the movie or the trailer's bad but it's just like and this is a bad example because that scene's great mm -hmm. but it but if predator you you like just saw the guys in the helicopter the guys talking the guys whatevering right You'd be like, wait, what happens or whatever here? And there's this whole other thing in the. You movie. mean like if they never showed the predator? I don't even know if they do show the predator in the trailer, but they show that like. Shit, I think you, you see know, his vision. Yeah, like shit goes crazy or something like that, right? So imagine him, you know, you know, Dutch just talking to what's his name and all that stuff, mm -hmm. just like nothing, right? But so again, like, those are all real actors and real I know. things, so, so I think be, you, know, you might go better. into it yeah. and and you might actually walk out in that what situation I'm, uh, positively what because I'm you'd saying, be like, I had no idea there were aliens. What a sw what a twist! What I'm saying is that this trailer shows you every single like a slice of, of yes, like yes. every single part of the movie and all the so pieces I, of the pie look like they, so, they taste yeah. like garbage so I can tell that there's no other thing going on that's that's actually good and maybe they're just showing me like a little taste right? yep. um, okay that's enough yeah that's our thoughts Thumbs on this down. let us know in this comments what you thought about it don't die in a fire and we'll see you next time hello internets I just love watching Just Taggers if you've enjoyed this video as much as I have click that subscribe button Ah. Uh, peace out, homies.